Hello, I'm Z. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I know, typical. Let's get on with it. So, last time I got my ass handed to me, put it, you know, lightly. Um, and we've got a few choices. The one I think I'm going to take is taking the branch I have. The Yoris branch. I have two of them, actually. I have two of them. I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to go down the path that the guy with the Moonlight Greatsword is, uh, I guess, in front of. Why do I go that way? Why not continue a different path? Because I feel like that might lead me somewhere different, somewhere interesting. I'm not sure if it's the right way to go, but it is a way to go that the game offers me. And that's what I love about this. I love the fact that you can go technically like, what, four different directions right from the very start. That's amazing. I love that. And this hub area somehow feels a bit better than even Firelink itself. Modula is just incredible. I, I Look, I know a lot of people hate this game. And believe me, there are some things to hate about it. But I'm not glazing when I say that it has some incredible mechanics and some incredible design. It has some good ideas and some bad ideas. And if you were to take the good ones and make a game out of those, I, I tell you what, it might just be better than Dark Souls 1. Of course, everyone wants a sequel to Bloodborne, that's more important, but I feel like a sequel to this is something like Elden Ring, and everyone loved that. Of course, Elden Ring's different in many ways, but in spirit, it's closer to this than it is to Dark Souls 1 or 3. It's the freedom, it's the connectivity of everything, and it's the story that pieces together like it does here. Sure, the bosses ain't great here. Sure, the ideas behind some of the areas are lackluster. But give me this. The enemy designs are cool as fuck. And the zones look interesting. They, Although they might not be interesting in design perspective. They might be linear. They might be whatever. They look interesting. The enemies look interesting. They have ideas, but they weren't able to put them properly on paper. Because the main director of a Dark Souls game was not there. He was making Bloodborne. And guess what? If he was working on this, I tell you what. It might just be one of the greatest Souls games of all time. But instead, he was working on something else. His vision was somewhere else. It was Bloodborne. And I agree that Bloodborne is a good game. I want to play it. I wish it will come to BC as every other person does. I wish it will get a sequel as any other person does. But just... Bear with me when I say that this game is great, and it's it's in its ways. It's not perfect. It's got many mistakes, but it is great. Now, how do I get up there? Petrified someone. Yeah, fragrant branch of your. Oh, it's a lady. I hear behind this door. Someone, something. Who are you? Are you good? Easy there. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You need some cough medicine? I've got some of that. I can imagine. Give me oh, a moment, please. Oh. Right then. I'm fine. I think. Take it easy. Take no, it slow. No, I'm fine. Really, I am. If you say so. Um. My name is Rosabeth. Beautiful name. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. Don't mean to be an asshole, but I didn't do it out of kindness. I did it out of necessity. Didn't know you were actually going to be someone. I thought I was literally going to crush the statue, but I guess I depetrified you. Oh. You're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. You have. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. And I love that. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks? 
Prism stones. All right. I was attacked and turned to stone. I think. That doesn't bode well for what's up to my head. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Do you want some clothes? I have plenty. Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Ah, you do want some clothes. I have some to offer. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? Of course. I'll take anything. Whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground. And I'll change into it later. Buy equipment. Buy item. What have you got? Increase fire defense, lightning defense, dark defense. Those are good. Magic defense. Okay. Uh, strength and spiromancy flame. Fire seed. Okay, okay. We got some spells too. I'll keep that in mind. I'm not against pyromancy. Do we require... Oh, We don't require faith or intelligence to use them? Jaw dropping. That's a f that's free spells. That's free spells. I can use pyromancy. We're doing that. Uh, give equipment. Ah. Sure. Have... I, I wouldn't want to cover up a face as beautiful as yours, but... Here, have that. Have uh, have this. That should look okay. I'll give you this, just so I don't have to co cover up your hands, and give you some imported trousers. There we go. Actually, yes. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. No problem. After I change into this, I'm heading for Matula. All right. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Majula is my best chance. I'll see you there then. I'm going back to Majula. Majula. That's not how I thought you pronounced Majula. I'm going to keep pronouncing it Majula because, well, that's how I choose to pronounce it. Can you give me a pyromancy frame? I'm going. I, hope we I can strengthen it here. I have my very own teacher. Yeah? His name is Corillian of the Fold, a famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. Okay. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so, well, he's so unique, you see. Sorcery. When he set out for Drang Lake, we do pyromancy. I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. You like him, don't you? I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. But oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. Hmm. What we're fascinated by and we're skilled at are not always the same thing. I see. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. Well, don't be so hard on yourself, but could I get my own pyromancy flame? I have my very own... T <laughs> no. I'm At least not yet. What? Oh dear, it's hard. Be safe. Thank you. You too. Oh, and I locked all the doors. Fuck, that's bad. Oh, you're closing the doors too. I'm not making it out. Nope. Okay. I looked behind specifically because I thought that might happen. There wouldn't have been doors upstairs and enemies that I was hearing if that wasn't the case. Um... She said she'll be in Majula. Majula, as I like to call it. I'd like to imagine she's somewhere around here now. Uh, probably not in a house. Because they each represent someone. Maybe she's in the big house. I'll, I'll just check that later. But what if it's over this way? 
It's still modular, technically. No. Uh, yeah, we have an issue. I don't know where she would have gone in Modula. But that's the lady here who sells stuff. We have the blacksmith. I don't think she'd be there. We have this guy. She's not in there. Maybe she'd be in here, but you'd have to first unlock it, I imagine. She might be fascinated by the fact that there's books and stuff here. But I'm not seeing her. Maybe I have to explore some more before she spawns here. She doesn't seem to be around here. Oh, the pigs. I could kill the pigs. Sure, I'll do that. Damn, this sword does a lot of damage. I'm so glad I got it. Oh, come on. The issue with small enemies. You gotta aim just right. Well, if she's not here, she's not here. She's not in here, I imagine. This is where the cat is at. Yep, she's not in here. Then where could she be? Okay, well, yeah, she could technically be up on the cliff. I doubt that's the case, though. I just imagine she hasn't yet arrived here. She's not in here. Not down by the edge anywhere. Oh, no, she is here. Here she is. Well, she looks awful, because that's not the proportions that the armor is oh, supposed to have. There you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. I didn't clothe you very well. I'm sorry. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. Yes. Give equipment. I can't really give you something that will make you look better. Sadly, not yet. I'll have to find something. It was a perilous trek across the mountains. I faced the most frightful things. <laughs> the number of times I nearly died. <laughs> it was a peril. Hmm. It was a peril. You only sell pyromancies? Yes. And not the actual pyromancy flame. Shit. Be safe. That sucks. It means I don't obtain pyromancy from her directly. It means I obtain it from somewhere else. But that... Well... To put it lightly, I don't know where I would find that. That's my main issue. Okay. Well, you know, take things slowly, take things easily, not rush anything. Souls games are best explored slowly and meticulously. Understanding the world and everything in it is how I like to play them. What? Clearing the way was your doing, was it? It is. <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you, pal. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, you know. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Hmm. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I'd be glad I'll to. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. The road ahead's gonna be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Ben Hart. Get my souls back, open up this door. Figure out how to get out, yep. There. You were no issue. Shit, the rest of them are upstairs. No, no, they're not. One's here. 
I destroyed the door too. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. Test this up. And now pull the lever. You should be able to take on too. Oh shit, there's still four. Ah, poison buildup is still a thing while I'm being in the animation. I don't like what I see that I just entered the room. That's not fun. I get, get up, man. Don't don't sleep poison down. Get the hell up. So no matter what, I have to fight four of them. Carrying them isn't really an option. Because I just get hit with the no uh I get poisoned. Realistically, the only thing I can do is try and hit them like this. I guess heavy attack, light attack will be my main may go I may go that way. You know, just heavy attack, light attack when they're all like close together. See if that works. Try not to consume all my stamina to reserve a bit for dodge. Maybe I'm not supposed to go this way, considering this is just the entrance to the zone, but it's Dark Souls we're talking about. There's always going to be a challenge. Let's take it. Let's defeat it. Doesn't matter how many tries. We're going to do it. Oh, but there's six if I don't defeat those guys. So I should be doing that. There's one behind me. Shit, I, I don't have time to heal here. No, I do. Life gems. Right. Life gems. Use life gems, not Estus in this game. Some people are gonna be like, oh, but look at that, you have to use a consumable heal. What the fuck do you use in Bloodborne, eh? Tell me with a straight face that in Bloodborne you don't use a consumable heal. That's what I fucking thought. At least here you still have your Estus. Oh, but it's slow. Oh, but I can't move doing it. Oh, but the animation is so long and it regens slowly. It doesn't do all my health at once. So fucking what? You're playing a Souls game. Did you expect this shit to be easy? Did you expect to have the winning hand? No. You have the losing hand. You're always the one at disadvantage here. What you have to do is learn to use it. Learn to make use of it. Learn to not lose at the slightest inconvenience. That's what the game is about. It's overcoming challenges. Without giving up so easily. Dark Souls is half... Half the game... Half of this game is about sending a goddamn message. And people don't get it. They don't get that message. The message is, unless you plan on getting good, and unless you plan on overcoming the challenges laid before you, there's no point in even trying. It's about overcoming the challenges. If you, if you neglect that, if you say, no, I'm not gonna do that, from the very get-go, you are neglecting the entire point of the goddamn game. Another two. You can get two here. Yep, they're both dead. I've just got this fucker. Look at that. With a bit of trial and error, I was able to overcome this. And I'm very scared because this guy does curse, but there. Raw stone. Thank you. Three tries is what it took me. At first, I thought, oh shit, this thing is impossible. Look at this. This is annoying. This is hard to do. Second try, I was like, I could go with that. I could do that. I made this mistake. Third try. Yeah, I know what I did wrong. I know how to change it. There's a bonfire here. I'm not gonna take it yet. Why? Because I'm gonna respawn the, the enemies. First, look around. Look the fuck around. There's a chest here. Is it a mimic? We'll find out. It's not, thankfully. Estus flash shard. That's very good. It's a reward. It's a reward for cleaning the first room. A bonfire and Estus flash shard is gigantic. 
I don't even want to hear it. That is that is a good reward. You might be asking, why am I acting like I'm, you know, arguing with the viewer? It's because I am. It's because I know people who will be like, oh, this game sucks because reason A and reason B. And I'll be like, yes, I agree that the game is not perfect. But you're simply choosing to hate it based on a vision that you're not willing to change. You're not willing to change your view on the game even when given evidence that there is something in, about it that, you know, the others game, other games lack. Who are you? My guy? Who are you? Interesting enemy. He uses an anvil to attack. Look, that's an interesting fucking concept. Give it credit for that. The man attacks with a chained anvil. You're not all togethers. Okay. I clear all the, all the rooms just to make sure there's nothing else here. Now that I've done it, I know there's nothing else, so I can just continue. I can claim that bonfire, I can keep on going forwards. I can live my life. Am I gonna sit? No. I've toggled it, that's all done. I've done. I'm not gonna sit. I don't see the point yet. Message? Be aware of message, then message. Require me message required ahead. Message ahead. I love this. Visions of message. You may want to try message. Or offer message. Be wary of message. Try message. Or offer message. Shaded woods. Perish. Well, that was a fail on my part. And die. Fading soul. I see. Look at this. Oh. You might say, oh, look at this. It's just another forest. But honestly, you don't often see um, places that are this tuned in with the world. Dark Souls. Like, there's a certain something that lacks from the other games that just like they go from one zone to another feeling like they don't really connect. They don't really make have part in the same world. Lothran is a is a is a zone that I cannot for the life of me defend because I feel like it is weirdly built. It was built on an idea that Dark Souls 1 had. It didn't really connect that well. Yes, the zones were interconnected. I get that part. People praise it, and I praise it too. The interconnection of the world is amazing. But, oh, Pharos, Lost, Lockstone is nice. But the way these zones are designed visually, and the way they feel, don't mix. I feel like in this game, look, you went from a forest to like a little temple, and from that temple, you continued into a forest, but now it's the ruins of a greater civilization that's gone past, right? From the Ma from Majula, you take a little path that's hidden away. You reach the forest of giants, and that's another forest, right? It's gonna it connects to like this idea of like there's forests around forests. That's normal. You're gonna transition slowly between zones, right? You go through that, and you reach a castle, and you go through that castle, and at the end, in order to reach a different looking zone, you get carried by a crow. In Dark Souls 1, you get carried by a crow from a similar-looking zone to a similar-looking zone. That doesn't feel right. It feels like they should look different. It feels like they should have a different vibe. They don't. In this game, they do, and I feel like that's right. Then you can go to a place where you take a, a path through, like, a whole contraption. You go through, like, stone corridors. You don't see the outside change, right? And suddenly... You're over the water, something you could see before, but you're in the ruins of, again, a civilization that has crumbled slowly but surely. 
you're on the ruins that a kingdom once stood above that water, had conquered the water, the land made itself from its own architecture, its stone and all that. And you are standing on those ruins. The zones connect because you know the other zone had water and you know the land ended there. So you're thinking, where am I going if the land is ending here? Well, you're going on something that's man-made. There's no land there. But hey, guess what? Under the water, in the caves, there is. People have developed stuff there as well. The pirate-looking cove, right? People went there. They're like, oh, look at this. This is cool. And, 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 and the zones connect visually in a way that they didn't in Dark Souls 1. In Dark Souls 1, you go from zone to zone and they have completely different vibes. And although I appreciate that because it gives you more zone um, designs, right? It gives you more different feelings and different vibes. I don't fuck with the fuck the fact that it doesn't connect at all. With the fact that they all feel disconnected from one another. Look, even even examples within their own domains. Blight Town and Quailag's domain do not feel like they they are part of the same zone. That's an issue I have with it. They don't feel like they belong in the same place. They certainly they certainly doesn't it doesn't feel like, Quelag is the boss of Blight Town, right? Blight Town feels different. Then you have Blight Town going into uh, the big, the big tree. I forgot what it's called with the curse toads, and then going into Ash Lake. Ash Lake is a beautiful zone, beautiful. And I understand the the fact that you descend down below the water, below everything, below the world, into where everything just starts, right? What what the world is built on there. But again, the zones don't feel like they connect. It doesn't have any relation to Blight Town. Human effigy. The only connection is the big tree that already feels out of place in Blight Town. Maybe that's just my per perception. What? Uh, you're free to, 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 to disagree with me, of course. You're free to have your own opinion, but. You know, I am going to voice my opinions, and I will stand by them. You can argue. I, I'd love to argue with someone about this. Uh, I feel like it's an interesting topic. It's just that not many people are willing to even have the argument. Not many people are willing to understand a vision. Are you okay? Is that a shard? Here. Yeah. To see light, however. Uh, upgrade this. this. Nice. Can I level up? No, almost. I'm using some souls. That should be enough, but I'm gonna use one of these as well, just in case. That's fifty. That should definitely be enough. There. Seek the king, lest it is okay. Uh, do I put points in? I put points in vigor, I think. Right? Or strength? Do we go strength? I feel like we could. We could definitely go strength. Depends on what the sword requires. What does the sword require? Oops, that's not. That's not what I meant to do. Wrong button. It requires 25. We could technically reach that point where I could, like, one hand wield it. I'm not against the idea. I'll do it. I'm down to do it. Do I have any bone shards that are unburned? No. I was just thinking, in case I did. And I gotta, I, I gotta do, say again, th this game's designs are interesting. The way they design the way it looks and everything. I, I'm not... You might be saying, oh, he's glazing Dark Souls 2. Look at this. Look at how much he's glazing the game. In some respects. I've never defended the combat of this game. Alright? The combat, in, indeed, is the least, least interesting thing about this game. Sadly. If the combat was good, and if it had more depth... I genuinely think that this would be an incredible game. Sadly, it's not because of that. Otherwise... Okay, I'm not going there. Otherwise, 
yeah, I, I genuinely do think that this is a very good game and it's designed well in the other regards. Um, okay, we've got a warrior. We've got two warriors. A hero. Okay. Strike price, okay. Owie. Owie. You're fast at attacking. But I think easily parryable. I just didn't get it. Another thing about this game that I love, and it makes sense, and I appreciate that this is the way it is, is no invincibility in the goddamn opening animations of things. You should not be invincible when you're opening things up. Uh-oh, I didn't do a good thing. It's not gonna deal that much, yeah. I know what you wants to do. I know you want to shoot me. I get that. But it's not gonna happen. Sniper spot ahead. We're out for miracles. Therefore, praise the sun. There's no sun here. Try jumping. But why? Oh, there's a forgot to be an enemy here. Yep. But you already saw me. Ow. You strike fast. I don't know if I should strike parrying you. Realistically speaking, I think it would be easier to just kill him. I love parrying, and I think it's a great feature. But Dark Souls 1 did it best. Dark Souls 1 parrying felt the most fair. I, I haven't felt any other parry feel as good as the Dark Souls 1 one. And that's just my honest opinion. You know. I'll try parrying, because I just like the idea. You move very odd. And very fast. Yeah, there we go. You're dead. I'm just looking to see if they drop anything, because they have cool gear. I know I can buy it, but... Still cool. That's interesting. I gotta dodge out of here. Alright. You're not that tough. Uh you're you're alright. What were you guarding? I was expecting another one here to be honest. Uh quite a bit actually. A great reward for that. It was little effort compared to what it should have been. Alright. Oh, what? What? The, what? Sorry? Sorry, did the Shadow Man just attack me? Oh, that is insane! That's so cool, because you don't expect it, and I can't lock on to him. That's actually so sick. I love that. Incredible design, 10 out of 10. It's so unexpected. I'm shocked. Sorry, sorry, this is like... Oh, wow. I love that. That is... Whoa. It's the first time in a long time that I've been shocked by a design of a character, of, of an enemy in Dark Souls. Because they all get kind of repetitive at some point. You have some archetypes, you have like, all sorts of 
types of enemies, right? Shrine of Winter. Seek mightier souls. All right. I'm essentially being kicked out. Is what's happening. Um. You don't. You have like you know the basic weird type, the archer type, the undead type. But you have the bigger body type with slow, but a lot of damage. You have dragons. You have lizards. Also, all sorts of things. You get used to it. You know. You're like ah, that's that kind of enemy, and you kind of recognize it. But that. That you you get used to seeing. Oh, that's just a player, right? No. That's an enemy, and you, car you can't target him. It's unfair, I get it, yes. And I, I love the fact that it's unfair. It's specifically made, so you're not going to be the one who's winning. You're not the one who's at an advantage. And you're the, the one that's going to be surprised. That's such a brilliant game design. Look at that. Some concepts from this game. And they didn't make it further out, because... They, they just didn't. Someone said no. What are those? And people hated on this game because Bloodborne came right after it and didn't even give it a chance. Okay. What's up? Alright, we have one of these guys. You see what I mean? Big, slow, heavy hitting. I could probably get something out of killing him. But I think realistically speaking, I'd get more out of trying to dodge him, get the stuff that's behind him, maybe continue without killing him because it takes a while to do so. It's a reward that I know I won't really appreciate because he'll just respawn the next time I come over here, unless he does and that's a special case. I don't expect that. That's not something you expect with enemies. If I do prove it to be true that he does not respond, then, you know, I'll be glad, and that'll be a, my little gift, but... Realistically speaking, in most games, they will. They will respond. What about these monkeys? They seem interesting. And I just missed. There we go, I killed both of them. Nothing drops. What does it say? Visions of Giant. In, in short, be ready of projectile. Projectile, eh? Bring confidence ahead. Whoa, it's one of you. Okay, cool. I'll try parrying you. Produce the symbol of the king. I get it. But first, let me destroy your warrior's king. Because by far, you were the easiest to parry. You and the Dark Knights in Dark Souls 1. So I'm not supposed to, supposed to be going this way yet, either. That's interesting. I like that. It's telling me you can't go here yet. But do keep in mind, you can return later. Do keep in mind, you might want to return later. Did I get a ring or what? Uh, I think the red tearstone ring. Yeah. That's interesting. You, uh, don't wanna? Alright, then I'll go. I'll make the first move here. I'm also probably gonna leave it off here. Kinda out of time. I like the zone. It's very interesting. Alright. I'm going to leave it here, so if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow.